Hi to all, it's time for meal of the day and today it's not that, it's this chicken casserole from Schwartz. Let's see, serves four. Your mate's slow cook it, that's the thing. I'm going to put it in the microwave, which it is, there's nothing, it doesn't mention that at all. So, just add one teaspoonful of uh, tablespoon of oil, one large onion sliced, two carrots peeled and sliced, four skinless chicken breasts, it's meant for four people, 300 millilitres of cold water, right I'm going to take note of that cold water thing because I'm going to put in enough for two and I'm going to make so 150 millilitres. Sounds a bit too much actually, but for what I'm doing. I do hope this works in the microwave. A tasty recipe mix with sweet garlic, fragrant sage and rosemary for a classic hearty casserole full of flavour. Three easy steps. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Guess mark four. Heat oil, soften onion and carrots for five minutes until golden brown. A chicken and brown on each side, transfer to a casserole dish. Mix seasoning with water and start in the casserole dish. Cover and cook in the oven for one hour until tender and cook through. Try something different. Add butter beans instead of half of the chicken. Or Let's see what it's got. Wheat flour. Remember this has got no juice on it at all. Currently. Nice and thiamine, modified starch, natural flavourings, so I don't know what that is. Salt, powder, lactose, spices, garlic powder, what it's telling me? Black pepper, herbs, sage, oregano, rosemary, skimmed milk powder, colour, plain caramel, flavouring. Swatch. I think this is £1.10. So these are great because they, they'll last for months, you know, you can put that in your cupboard for months. Okay, let's go. Here's the barcode. No QR number. Surely I can't mark this up, can I? 24th of so I could put that in my cupboard for two years without a, without a care. Microwave, here we come. Copy me. First you get a, a bowl. This is actually clean. This is the curries. I can't get the curry colours off them. Even in the even in the dishwasher, but I I, I do the rapid wash. I'll probably need a, a full wash somewhere like that. So I'm going to put that in your next bag, frozen. I prefer, it's good when the carrots are little cubes, because they used to make them like that, you know, sliced strips. And now they're diced, which is good because it means it, they cook easier. I would eat organic ones, but the only place it has them is Waitrose. And then about twice the price, but I would, I would pay that. When you're talking about 10p a meal, or extra or something. Just waiting for these to run out. I, don't, I probably won't buy them again for a while. Just a bit too pungent. Yeah. Usually I add water here. I don't use tap water. I use uh, spring water or something. What am I doing here? I think I, I'm going to measure these out this time. One bottle. I'll just add some, try and guess. Um, 
This is a defrost and slightly cooked veg stage. Right, I'm, going, I'm just going to add a bit of this a tiny bit. First I'm going to taste it a wee bit. No, I can't really tell. Uh, tastes a bit meaty to me. I'll just add it a, a wee bit. I'll probably end up using the whole lot because I, I just can't judge. Cook it medium for three minutes first and then check up check up on it. It's totally frozen with the water. I'm going for medium. This is my new go to I used to be low. I should have added the, the powder to the water before putting it in the pot, but it's too late now. Okay, three minutes is up. Okay, let's go. Things are heating up. You know, I'm just like very watery at the moment. I'm just going to put the whole lot in. What I just need. Still a bit too much, I think. Too much thickness. Don't die on the meal. Don't, don't disintegrate. That'll do for now. See how you want. When you add the chicken now. Okay. I'm just going to add it. I've got some frozen chicken here. Strips, chicken strips that are ready cooked. And they're frozen. I 
They're more good supermarket stores. Not in the house, though. Brand. I'll get the home brands. Yeah, I should have stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll do a couple of minutes first. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit thick, the green in there. I need to keep pouring water into it. Looks like a salvage job. You'd be putting in enough for four with a mistake. I mean, it tastes quite nice. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll give it another two minutes. I mean, I'm going to cook it longer because it's a slow cook thing. But uh, not for an hour or anything. Like that. It looks as if it's going to work, although I put in too much. I've lost count of the minutes now, it's a bit, let's see, 10 minutes now. Right. Well, it definitely looks like a meal now. Maybe the kind of thing you would get in jail or something. I don't know how long it keeps going. Since it's a slow, I'm going to add a tiny bit of water just to try. Putting in the four pack, enough to say four was a mistake, obviously. But yeah, it tastes okay. It tastes, uh, yeah, it tastes okay though. I mean, it's amazing how easy it is to make these things. All these years I've been eating ready meals and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're, it's better than a ready meal for sure. I would, at this moment I would give it a 6 out of 10 and then I might even go up to 7 uh, even higher. So if it beats 5 out of 10 it's, it's beating the ready meals from the supermarket. Maybe I should go lower now. I'll go lower. For two minutes. Yeah, that's good tasting. I'm going to give it a seven at the moment because it's, after all my curries, uh, this is sort of light, even though it's a bit meaty taste. I don't know what you're doing now, whether you keep going or what. I'll just, I'll start eating it like that. That's good, I like that. I suppose casseroles are better than that because they're easier in the stomach than that. And there's no surprises really. And there's enough flavour in that to uh, make you want to eat more. Time for the pouring. It's too thick. So that means you would probably get two. Well, if it serves four, then you can 
the quarter or half or whatever and I mean that's one pound ten and you're looking at anything from twenty five pence to fifty pence for your flavour to your meal. You want some? I'll give it ten minutes to cool. Yeah. Everything's looking good. It's a bit too thick, that's all, but it's, it's nice because it's it's not overwhelming. It's, it tastes a bit meaty to me, sort of like ball from or something. Yeah, maybe maybe curries are too much for me, and this should casseroles and things should be my my mainstream. Yeah, this is a good solid hearty meal. I'll give it a seven for sure. So far, may go up to an eight. I don't know. Yeah, I'll give it a seven. Uh, it's so easy to eat. You can't really tell because. I've put in enough for four people and it's far too thick but even though it's thick I can eat it easily it's not nipping my tongue or making my, my nose water or anything like that so I, I can't taste the onions so they're, they're well infused the, the chicken as well seems well infused um, I'll just take a look at this again and see well, there is a wee bit left. Mm. Maybe a tenth. Mm. Let's see if I noticed what I tasted in this. So, garlic was maybe the main tasty thing. Black pepper, herbs. Yeah, to me it was a sort of meaty taste, like a bobble or something, but whatever it is, it was nice. I mean, it's not my favourite meal, but it's uh, very edible. Um, yeah, I would buy it again and maybe make it part of my routine, but I've got a lot more to try as well. Okay guys, bye bye.